Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to take you with me as I'm going to organize my yarn stash as well as I will have you a peep of my tiny creative space. By the way, I'm Cheryl of The Elegant Ermin. You can find me on Facebook as The Elegant Ermin, as well as on Instagram as the.elegant.ermin. I also sell patterns on Ravelry, Love Grabs, and Creative Fabrica.
So I'm going to have you a peep of my stash as well as my creative space, small creative space. So this is where I usually film my videos, especially the tutorial or anything that has, you know, I have to use this one. So this is my ring light, but it's broken, but I still use it. So let's start my yarn stash over there. Okay, see so here on this particular shelf, I have my acrylics, my four ply um, cotton. These are local yarns, but I think uh, this one I have what I have here. These three in the fill. I forget the seller of this, but I had a unboxing or an. Yeah, and, and I have an unbagging of this yarns before on my podcast. I think this is not local yarns, but this is Indofil, uh, imported Indofil yarns. So this, uh, like chartreuse and a, I don't know how to describe this color, and then this royal blue. And then this one is a four-ply cotton, 100% cotton this royal blue also i've been looking for this particular um yarn before and then this is an acrylic yarn in the fill 100 acrylic yarn these are or this is the scrap or spare from the one that i made two years ago or a year ago a shawl that is heavily textured this one i have this one and then this is also and in the fill yarn, this is four ply and teal. I think this is teal in color or peacock. Yeah, it's peacock. This is peacock. And this is four ply uh, cotton, light uh, indigo. I love this particular yarn. It's more of an acrylic and cotton blend. And here on this next shelf is my spun poly or polyester yarn so this one is a four ply cotton it's supposed to be here and so here is my spun poly spun polyester or polyester yarn but this one is not it's this is a i think this is a ribbon yarn but i just put it here so i have this one, I forgot the color of this because I bought this for a long time. So there's the color. These are my spun polyester, thinner uh, polyester. This is four ply, I think. And then this is eight ply. I love this color in this one also. And so this is, um, sorry, sorry, put it there. I put it back so this is a ribbon yarn or a tape yarn and this is an acrylic yarn a shiny acrylic and it's a little bit curly i don't know the specific name of this because most of these yarns are a local yarns so you cannot or you won't be able to see labels from them now this this shelf is for my uh rylan yarn my local rylan rylan yarn but the here, this one is a moisturized uh, yarn, brown in color. If you would think why I'm, would have liked to ask, or if you would ask why I have my yarns wrapped in plastic, because it's very dusty here in my place. Before I have them unwrapped, but you know, they're very, very, it, the, the yarns became dusty that I have to wrap them. So yes, I have them wrapped in this plastic so that you can, I still can see the colors or I can still see the yarn without opening the plastic. So this one is the novelty yarn. I think this is a boucle yarn, the boucle, I love this. I still don't have any idea or any pattern to use this. And these are my Rylan yarns. So my Rylan yarn is, wait, so there I have a, I'm sorry for the light, so this one is gray, and then I have my navy blue, and then royal blue, navy blue, purple, and pink uh, Rylan yarn, and then I also have another brown, dark brown there, 
uh, mercerized uh, thread or mercerized yarn. I think this is to ply. And this one is 100% cotton. I am putting it here because I'm using this for my stitch tutorial pattern. Or stitch. I'm using this for my stitch pattern tutorial. And these are my uh, mercerized uh, threads. And here on this next one is... Sorry, I have to move the chair. These are my fine cotton uh, yarns. So these are my fine cotton yarns. These, this is, I think they have this particular name of this yarn, but it seems to me that this is still fine cotton. But I think this is comb cotton, but it's more like a fine cotton. So these are my fine cotton 8-ply. I, I love uh, fine cotton 8-ply. So I have here... This is 100 grams only, so it's the cake is very or quite small. And then this one, I have this pretty purple. This is purple. And this I have cheese, and then a fuchsia, green. And then I this this red. I think this is a polyester, a mix of polyester and cotton. I'm not sure because they don't have a label. So I love this uh, pink. It's more of a peachy color yarn. And then uh, there I have a, I forgot the color of this, but it's more like a dark uh, blue. This is 8-ply. And this too, chartreuse uh, yarn, this is a vegan yarn. Not a V-E-G-A-N yarn, but a V-I-G-A-N yarn. It's a vegan yarn. I bought this online, a really... <laughs> Uh, look for this color and this is one of my prized yarn because of the color so there and next here is my uh, acrylics so this is a ribbon I bought this last year for a pattern that I haven't finished yet so there and I have here a bag strap for my whip I'm going to use this for the whip so these are Japan yarns. This red here. This is red. Sorry for the light. Um, let me see if I can adjust. Uh, okay, there. So these are Japan yarns without the label. This block here. And then this one, dark red, is Ito wool yarn from Japan. These are my Monaco acrylic yarns, 4-ply and 3-ply. I use this for my Grimmel Cross body bag, and I still have spare, so I put it here. This is still, I think this is a Bukli yarn from Japan. This is gifted to me. This one is gifted to me by a friend. Then this one is, I bought this from the same friend. Uh, it was a, a lot including these yarns the japan the japan yarns and this one and some other yarns and this this is a lanolon yarn one ply it has a different in, it, this is in different colors i bought this from Gonchilio baguio a long time ago and i'm planning to create a granny square skirt with this yarns actually i have granny squares there already and then let me put it back and sorry okay let me put it back there and then and then the last shop that i have here are some uh this one is an acrylic yarn monaco acrylic yarn three ply and then i have ice yarns here these are ice yarns in different colors and then this is a yarn that I use for my skirt. Four ply seam with this one. I actually bought that together. Or yeah, along with that. And then this is an Elise yarn, Camilla. Yeah, then there. And then here on the shelf, this is uh it's this south made yarn uh this is gifted to me by a crochet friend ella this one monica i bought this for my latest purchase this one is a mercerized i think this is a mercerized 
thread or yarn. I bought this from Ashes Crochet a long time ago. This one is a gift from a crochet friend. I think this is a Monica acrylic yarn. And below is my uh, gradient yarns. So this one is Lion Brand uh, Shawl in a Cake. And then this one is, I bought this from Stitches and Beyond by JK. This is a yarn art, flower yarn. This is from Ashley. Ash, this is from Ashley's Crochet, long time ago. These two is from Crocheted by Curie's. This one is uh, Ashley's, gifted to me by a crocheter friend last, just this year, last February 14th, my Valentine gift from her. And then up there, um, these are my different uh, Monaco Mercerized Cotton Thread or Yarn. I have 12 there, I think. And then this is a mixed colored yarn by Ashley's. Bought this a long time ago. This is a gift. This is a lanolin yarn, one ply, just like this. This is red. I think this is 200 grams, gifted to me by a friend. This is a sorry this is a an endophil yarn mixed colored gifted by the rainbow loop project last christmas and then this one i bought this mixed colored yarn this is i think this is cotton eight ply i bought this from uh Kinchilio baguio yes Kinchilio baguio there and and then Underneath is these are spun polyester yarns in black cones. I bought these from lots of yarns, and I think this is uh, 200 grams and 12 ply. And then this one also. I this this color this yarns I used this with my um, Freya summer cardigan by Anita. I bought four, and then I have spare another uh, two spare uh, cones. These are glitter yarns from Candy Floss. I bought six. Uh, the three is with another color, and then I use it up already. And this is a feels like body yarn from Lion Brand, twenty four seven cotton by Lion Brand, and another one is Elise Bahar. Yeah, this is one hundred percent mercerized cotton, Elise Bahar. And then underneath on my table, I have here my scrap yarns, threads, and then some notions. These are my uh, pompa maker. Bought this a long time ago, and these are my very first set of hooks. This one. Then there my crochet notions there scissors stitch markers uh, tape measures i have it here and then this is this is just a pouch for my wires such as chargers and then this one is my hooks crochet hooks and other notions and some other hooks here my generic hooks is uh, my generic hook my generic hooks are here and then some pants and then wait let me put this back and here are my active whips this is my panina i still haven't finished this bag i still haven't uh, touched the lining as well as the zipper and then i have another uh bag with my prima lacrosse petty bag i use this yarns and i'm going to use this strap these are my yarns for my prima Lou blanket these are my squares and then there i have another whip this is is a short my prima Lou, supposed to be my prima Lou cords and then i have the shorts there i'm not yet done then this is for my prima and my pianina this is for my pianina I am going to use this for the photos. I'm going to take photos for the pattern. I'm going to use this yarn instead of this. See here, I also have here a note. 
a notebook and my Bible and this is my notebook for my a year of reading Bible reading printed a plan I have my notes there this is a um, crochet book this is from Ella I bought this from Ella Ella Faye and I still haven't made any project from this book but I love this this is a crochet um, magazine I have two actually I just use this as a reference or more of a reference for you know when I'm writing my pattern I still I haven't mastered in how to write the pattern it's a you know long it's more of a I still have a long way ahead for me to write uh, perfectly write a pattern then this is my other notebook this is a sticker I made this actually I'm planning to sell this patterns soon this is my whip tracker I you can print actually this whip tracker on my store my creative fabrica store this is free to download let me see let me um, let me give you uh, let me have you a closer look with this so this is my whip tracker name of the project pattern name date started target date to finish yarn details hook details send some notes because this is very very important so that you will not get lost with your whip I have here another notebook this is my pattern writing worksheet I have another one so I have to finalize it and then I have here my printed Makaya halter bullet pattern and some I think I have other pattern here like this this is my Malaya and my Sophia as well is there and I have a portraiture posting guide this is by Amanda Diaz I printed this I love this and yes there I'm gonna put it back and so here also um here i have some small notebooks printed this when i um, packed an order last year and here i have my stitch markers loose buttons and another container for some coins and loose buttons and this one candle i love this scent and this is my daughter by the way she made this and yes so i think that's it and here i wanted to show you by the way this one this is a magnetic pickup tool gifted to me by a crochet friend at the betty and here i stored my some of my fashion jewelries this one, this cup, an espresso cup. I had this a long time ago when I was still in Kuwait. This is a gift, Christmas gift. This is supposed to be a set, and this is what this is what's left with the set. There. And here, Christ be your strength. Yes. And then this is right here, and then my oils so there is my happy place or my small happy creative space nice stash there actually i have i still have other another box for my samples prototypes pattern prototypes and some whips but i'm not going to show it now maybe next time so there so this is my microphone. Be there.